Deadly spiders burst out of banana bunch. A mom and her seven-month-old son were forced out of their home in England for three days after a cluster of spiders burst out of bananas from a local supermarket. Gemma Price from County Durham picked off a banana from a bunch she bought at an Asda store on Monday. As she peeled the skin off, a white sack, which she hadn't noticed before, broke, and a bunch of baby spiders started crawling down her hands in pajamas. Price quickly called Britain's emergency number and was told to evacuate immediately and not go back. Price and her son moved to her mother's home across the road. Price said when she called Asda's Stanley branch, the store manager requested that she bring the spiders and banana to customer service for a refund. She then contacted the head office the next day, but they only told her to shake the spiders off your son's clothes and offered her a 50 pound voucher. Pest control specialists sprayed the property thoroughly. Three days later, Price and her son were allowed back into their home. Pest control later confirmed that the species in question were Brazilian wandering spiders, whose venom can kill an adult in two hours. Male patients often develop painful erections as they die an agonizing death. Asda said their bananas are washed, sprayed, and manually checked for quality and stowaways before being transported to the UK. The company continued to say that as incidents like this are rare, they understand how upset Price is, and they're in contact with her to find a resolution. An Asda spokesperson reassured customers that the chances of finding a spider in their bananas is low. It's even less likely that a tropical spider could survive outside of its warm climate, Asda said. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. We don't know if that Asda spokesperson is lying or just ignorant, because it seems like there's an incident like this in Britain every year. Deadly spiders swarm out from bananas, forcing family to flee. A UK family fled their home in terror when hundreds of deadly spiders swarmed out of a bunch of bananas. Jamie Roberts spotted white patches on the fruit and first thought it was mold, but later realized the bananas were infested with a spider nest. Pest controllers advised the family to leave immediately. The family was only allowed back three days later after the home was extensively fumigated. The spiders have not been officially identified, but the family believes they could have been the world's most poisonous Brazilian wandering spider. Got a banana in your plastic bag? You might want to double check it. UK mom finds spider that causes four hour erections living in her bananas. This is the Brazilian wandering spider, the most poisonous spider in the world, and also the new resident of your Tesco bananas. A mother in the UK was about to give her six year old a snack when she spotted an enormous spider nest. She watched in horror as the cocoon started unfurling and was able to identify the deadly spider. And if she hadn't, well, a bite from the Brazilian wandering spider can cause painful erections that last up to four hours. Its poison also messes with your sensory nerves, resulting in acute pain and inflammation. And finally, a single bite can cause loss of muscle control, paralysis, and eventual asphyxiation. But this smart mama managed to avoid all those things by chucking the bananas in the freezer. Tesco's reported response to the whole thing was a little too mellow. Oh, you and your six-year-old nearly met a slow and painful death? Well, just take the bananas back to the store then. Dickhead pokes spider whose venom causes spontaneous erections. Hey! Hey, you sucker! Leave me alone! Stop it! You call yourself a naturalist? Leave me the alone! Oh, right, a stick. Nice! Nice! Leave me alone! Oh, you limp dick wuss! Stop it! Ah! Uh, hey! Right, you find me in the jungles of Bolivia, and what do you do? You poke me with a fucking stick! Stop it! I have a family, you sucker! Stop poking me! Sure, my venom gives erections. What, you got a problem? Stop! Stop poking me! Stop! I. 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 God. God. Fucking damn it! God. Fucking Stop poking me, you motherfucker! I. Ah! Uh, I, uh, God, not the stick again, you f face. There, how about a little sting? Hurts, doesn't it? Kind of like being poked with a stick, you bucket of demon spunk. Leave me the f alone. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Woman finds giant spider in Woolworth's salad. Customers have been getting more than they bargained for from Woolworth's pre-packaged salad products. 
The grocery company just announced a recall on the greens due to a salmonella outbreak. And, needless to say, people are freaking out. Some are just curious as to what applies. Some are still being sarcastic, while others are outright pissed. And Zoe Perry beats them all. The lady posted a video on Wooly's Facebook of a little something extra that came with her salad. That's a spider, a huntsman spider to be exact, still alive and kicking. It's, it's reanimated. Oh my god. These bad boys are named for their speed and, uh, well, hunting abilities. There are a number of species with the largest having about 250 to 300 millimeter leg spans. They're not really dangerous to humans, but let's be honest, they're pretty terrifying looking. And in true internet fashion, the comments have been rolling in. Some are praising Wooly's fresh food game ever so sarcastically, while others simply would apply fire to the greens. Perry's video has even inspired a few to share their horror stories, like when Tanya Smart found this moth in her salad. Others claim to have found wasps and even a dead mouse. This is all very similar to when one customer found a dead frog in his salad in 2014. Like the incident in 2014, Woolworths was very concerned. The company commented on Perry's video post asking her to reach out privately. Honestly though, if Woolies would just give away cuddly animals in their salad, people would just think of it as a prize. Oh hi kitty! Car salesman horrified to find spider in his sandwich. A British car salesman with arachnophobia was horrified to find a dead spider in his pre-packed pulled pork sandwich. 29-year-old Chris Eastwood bought a pulled pork sandwich from a greenhouse bakery in Cheshire near his workplace. After taking a generous bite out of the sandwich, Chris was horrified to find a dead daddy long legs bake onto the surface of the bread. Eastwood felt sick and put the sandwich back in its container. Assuming he ate part of the spider's legs, he shut down at work, traumatized. Many of you will probably trivialize Eastwood's reaction, but arachnophobia is an intense fear of any spider, regardless of size and appearance. When he recovered, he called the bakery to complain. An employee came to collect the sandwich and handed him an apology letter, along with two gift certificates worth five pounds. He was outraged by the gift certificates and their paltry sum. He said that gift certificates to a place he's never visiting again are useless and he expected to be treated better. Sandra Ogden, head of marketing for the bakery, said that they were sorry even though they tried to aim for perfection with the million items produced each week, mistakes do happen.